Number 81. Which compound if in each of the following pairs has the larger lattice energy? And then note, Ba2 plus and K plus have similar radii, and S2 minus and Cl minus have also similar radii. And then we have to explain our choices. Okay, so we want to have a larger lattice energy. Now a lattice energy is just the amount of energy needed to break the bonds in an ionic compound. So basically we're gonna break these bonds and form their ions. So that's the first thing that we should do. Let's just see all the ions out on paper. So KCl is the ionic compound. We're gonna sever all ties so that they can exist as two independent ions, which would be potassium and chlorine. Then we look on the periodic table and we see that potassium is in group one, so that's a plus one charge, and chlorine is a halogen, so that's group seven or 17, and the trend is a negative one. Now we're gonna do the same with BAS. We're gonna sever all ties so that barium and sulfur can exist independently, and we get Ba and sulfur. Barium is in group two, so that's a plus two, and sulfur is in oxygen's group, so that's a minus two. Now, they did give us a little note here. They said that Ba2 plus and K plus have similar radii. So I'm just gonna group these together. This has similar radii. Okay, and then they also said that S2 minus and Cl minus have similar radii. So these have similar radii. Now you might be saying, well, why does that even matter? Well, we wanna find out the larger lattice energy. And the lattice energy is highly dependent on two properties. And one of them is all about the atomic radius. Only if you have smaller ions or atoms that are making up your ionic compound will you increase your lattice energy. But since potassium and barium are relatively the same and chlorine and sulfur are relatively the same, we can't really make any assumptions on uh, which one would have higher lattice energy, KCl or BAS, because they're basically all similar to each other. So this comes down to the last property, which is now we have to just find out the electrons being transferred from the metal to the nonmetal. And the more electrons that are being transferred, the higher number will always jack up or high, you know, higher, make, make the lattice energy higher. So in terms of K plus, and we say Ba2 plus, and then we got Cl minus, and then S2 minus. Okay, so we got our cations over here and our anions over here. Now, for potassium, right, it was a plus one charge, which means that it lost one electron, and the chlorine was a minus one. It gained. So in this case, if potassium lost one and chlorine gained one, it transferred one electron from the metal to the nonmetal. Now in terms of the barium, barium is a plus two. That means it lost two electrons and the sulfur is a minus two, it gained two electrons. So from the barium to the sulfur, it transferred, transferred two electrons by just looking at those charges. And remember, the higher the amount of electrons transferred, the more the lattice energy. BAS transferred two electrons versus the KCL just transferring one. Two is better than one, so the one that has the larger lattice energy is BAS, barium sulfide. And that is the answer. Oh yeah. What'd you think? Thanks for coming here. Thanks for checking out the channel. I love talking to you guys and I love helping you guys out. Um, thank you so much for being part of the community. My brother and I we really do appreciate all you guys, all of your kind comments. And um, I hope you're really doing well out there. Keep studying hard and I will talk to you soon. All right. Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye.